All right, today we're going to shoot longer ranges. I'm going to do some testing on 50 meters just to give you guys an indication of where 50 meters is. Come on, focus, baby. There we go. And then also, I'm going to take it all the way back to 100 meters. That's way back, way, 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 way back. Okay, folks, first up, Inferno 23 grain cup base. I'm going to start on power setting one. I'm just going to shoot two shots just to let the regulator settle a little bit and then I'm going to go for it. Let's hope the crony works today. The best grouping with the 23 grain cup base was at a much lower speed than expected. It was at 830 feet per second with a grouping of 5 shots of 8.5 millimeter. The moment it started picking up speed, the group started opening up and at 980 it was all over the place. Time to check if there's any difference when the crony is off, if there's any difference in the harmonics. Let's have a look. 23 grain cup base, round 2, this time without the crony. Let's see where these guys are harmonically better suited. The same observation pulled through without the crony. The tightest group was again at the lowest speed, which is quite interesting. Also noticing that without the crony at the higher speeds, the groups actually tightened a little bit, but this is still not the grouping I would like to see from these slugs. Okay, next up is the 25.4 grain flat base, 50 meters with the crony. The 25.4 grain slugs is a huge improvement on the 23 grainers through my barrel. The groupings were a lot tighter and the tightest grouping was 13.1 mm on power setting 3 that ran at 880 feet per second. Next up I'm going to run exactly the same speeds, exactly the same setup just without the crony. Time to rumble. Kiddies came along to play a little bit, shooting with the HW100. Uh, Twenty-five point four grainers, flat base without the radar.
the groupings were a lot tighter without the crony attached to the barrel with the best grouping actually being at maximum power at 940 feet per second a 25 mil grouping with eight shots there some lateral movement but i think that was more uh, to do with the wind interesting to note that the slugs actually perform quite well at slower speech which is contradictory to everybody's perception of slugs and now let's go and see what these babies are doing at 100 meters I'm out of breath, it's 100 meters to the target, I had to jog there, had to jog back, had to jog again to replace the camera at the right spot, and I'm back. So let me just get my breath, then we're going to do the 23 grainers, cup base, at 900 feet a second. I'm going to take two shooters just to check how far I have to aim off with the 10 times scope, and then I'm going to chase it up with 16 shots. Twenty five point four grainers running at nine hundred and ten feet a second. Sight is first. We've got a breeze from left to right. Against my own better judgment, I ran the 23 gainers at 900 feet per second, even though the best grouping on 50 meters was at 830 feet per second. Thus, the grouping there is only my own fault. I need to really look at what best speeds to shoot these 23 grainers at. The 25 grainers, however, is extremely promising. The flat base really did its job. That's a tight group at around about 63 millimeters at 100 meters into the breeze. I'm quite impressed with that and quite happy with that. In the next episode, we'll shoot the 25.4 grain cap base and the 28 grain cap base as well. Please stay tuned. Watch for the next video.